here in our top 48. UIU Jun Ding from South Korea versus Panda Global Speed Kicks based out of Atlanta in the USA. Man, I love Speed Kicks. He's a cool guy. He's a great kid, man. I mean, I love reading his Twitter and just how passionate he is about fighting games and Tekken in general and how he wants to really, you know, just learn the game and kind of learn about himself while playing the game. So it's actually a great journey. I enjoy watching him. How he He's actually plays. a genius too, right? He is. He is. Sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but he is a genius. I mean, he like uh, raised up grades in, in high school, was it? Or went to college early or something like that? Yeah, he graduated college, I believe, at the age of 12. Cool. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's more than I did when I was 12. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I don't know how good it'll uh, serve him against the Koreans here, but we'll see. We'll see right now. He gets the just frame skyrocket here, looking to close out that first round, and he will with the Hunting Hawk. Good round. Yeah. No, I mean, you can see the brilliance in his way of thinking and the way of problem solving within Tekken. He'll make adjustments, and I've, I've been telling people so many times, like, you know, Huarong, he has amazing damage output. He has some cool options here and there, but he's not the best character. If someone knows how to fight against Huarong, that completely changes his character. It forces him to play super safe and very limited. I think that's what frustrates uh, Speed Kicks, is actually that intelli intelligent approach to Tekken by the numbers and the data, right? Yeah. Because that you can't do that with that alone, you know? Sometimes it's just... And you have to need a, a mix of both. It needs to be like, you know, heart, in intuition. And that's like stuff that you really can't put numbers behind sometimes. Right. But on the, you know, on the number side, he's good. He knows stuff. All right, here we go. Able to close it out. Junding tying it up on rounds. And that's the thing, you know, with certain characters in certain play styles, you know, Junding, he plays out of his mind using Eddie. You know, Eddie... It's one of those characters who had received a number of changes from his previous iteration. Right. No longer has a lot of moves that you can abuse, but he has a lot of moves that still do and lead towards a ton of damage. And look at that combo. Wow. All that from a wild standing attack. Okay. We don't see many Eddies, though. You've got him, you've got Spiro Gene, maybe. Anyone else? Uh, that we see in high level tournament play? Yeah. No, there's not really that many. One of the few practitioners of Capoeira left. Nice. Good punish here. Is he going to rage drive? Yes, he will right here. Go. Oh. Nice oh. low parry. He's going to close it out here. Right into the rage yard. Good stuff. Speed nice. kicks is up now. Two rounds to one over UIU Junding. Going on a, on game point for match number one. We'll see if he's able to pull it out. But again, there's no walls in play. And this could uh, prove to be detrimental for both of these players. Because, I mean, both of them with walls prove to be much more dangerous. They trade blows. Ball. Nice running slide here. Gets the follow up there with the relax. And then the relax low series that we just saw, the relax 1 3, it okay. is a natural combo. Uh, the jab version, not a natural combo, less on counter it. So it's something to be aware of. It's a good low poke option that's a little bit safer compared to his other lows that is launch punishable. Oh, nice. Oh. And we might see another comeback here from Speed Kicks. No, the low punch, the salty fist. It's like Street Fighter, huh? Yeah, sometimes you gotta match the, the, the free, <laughs> the, the quick low move. Nice. Oh, he gets a wall standing four, the tsunami. Oh, again. You know, Jundi taking liberties here to kind of test them offensively. See if he knows what to punish with. And goes for the grab, gets it. The follow up here goes for the running three. Had another opportunity. Look at this pressure here from Speed Kicks. He's trying to put, put all the pressure on. He's just going to have to be careful here. Oh, the Peacekeeper looking to close it out. Oh, he might have it. No. Nice oh, power yeah, nice. crush. Well, you know, Eddie, I mean, he's got a lot of low attacks, which would be good against Parang, but the back dash, he should be able to create some space, right? Yeah, and that's the thing is, like, because of, like, you know, the way he's able to lunge and create offensive space or close the, the distance, sometimes you got to be careful because, you know, Parang has that really long lunging kick. Right. Weak to the sides, but yeah. I mean, he's got that armor move that's great, but you know, if it's a high move, maybe not so good against Eddie. Yeah, well, that's the thing is like he has two armor moves he has one from actually, he has one from Flamingo, and then he has one from the right foot forward stance. One is high, one is mid, but both of them track, right? It's it's scary, and you know, Huarang is most comfortable or most vulnerable when he's in those stances. So sometimes you'll see him with his foot in there and you want to hit him, but it's bad timing because he does a power <laughs> crush. It's a, it's totally a mix up, but Speed Kicks is up 1 0 right now. Must be the shades, I think. It is the shades. He's he's playing Mr. Cool Guy right now. Cool kicks. 
Working out. Nice, goes for the low. And nice spring kick there to react here from Jun Ding. Side step two, keeping that pressure. We got walls now, so we'll see how that changes the fight. Oh yeah, we'll definitely see how it's gonna do. Again with the Peacekeeper, put him pressuring by the wall. Bad positioning, he got him, that wasn't even counter hit. That was great presence of mind there from Jun Ding, able to pull that out. Gets the counter hit, the follow up here. It looks like Speed Kick's a bit more wary defensively about what he's going to be doing in the matchup. There's a counter hit, confirmed combo. Going the other way, Power Crush. He has a sliver of life left. Not enough, and he knew a throw was coming. Look at that, Junding looking to turn around two rounds straight already. Looking to tie it up here if he wins this round. Staying just out of range, right? Oh yeah, he's do he's playing at the optimal range right now. Not really giving Huang an opportunity to punish. Can't do the back three, can't do any of his lunging attacks either. Oh my god, relax right underneath it. Oh my gosh, again, just out of range. And right now, John Ding working that magic. Oh, that's oh that's guaranteed the follow-up here, looking to close it out. Such pressure, man. Nice. Oh, this is big. He has an opportunity, he's gonna go downstairs as well. This is gonna hurt, man. Oh, oh, he dropped it. Doesn't matter. He's the rage drive. One hit, one mix up. Oh, he got him. And Judging, three rounds straight, tying it up against Panda Global Speed Kicks. Look, Speed Kicks. He's thinking now. <laughs> He's thinking, what do I do? You guys got the music turned down now. Is that because Steve was getting too d distracted? Sometimes Steve gets way too distracted. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just glad he's not here next to me, grabbing my arm like he usually does. Oh my Bruising God! Bruising me. I'm like, ah, man, <laughs> let go of me. Like, he thought I was screaming because of the matchup. I was screaming because he was, like, cutting off my circulation. <laughs> oh, he took the shades off. Yeah, that's because he's getting serious now. You can see the focus and the look of determination on his face. I mean, this happened earlier in the tournament as well. But we're going to the Howard Estate. Jundine just like, okay, what's for dinner? Yeah, he's like, what's next? <laughs> I need some proteins. That dude is buff for a Korean, man. Yeah, he's working it out. He should have stood up for the pro wrestling uh, challenger thing last night. That would have been crazy. <laughs> All right, slice up 34. And this is cool. I really hope a lot of cool stuff happens in the stage. You know, just because it has the ability to do so many wall breaks and continue combos even further. Especially with these characters who can carry a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice. That was a great option to relax. They traded blows there, though. It could have been much worse on the outset. Here comes uh, Speed Kicks. <gasps> the back one plus two evasive action into the low kick. And Junding now in the lead after Speed Kicks has uh, pulled away earlier on. Oh. Try to catch him again. Okay, Junding trying to control that space. Oh, he missed. He, again, he was fishing for it. It's like he's dancing, man. Yeah, he's break dance fighting. Okay, another opportunity here. Gets the follow up with the combo here. I like what I'm seeing from Speed Kicks. Now pushing towards the wall, but not enough. No duck on the second hit, low parry. Oh my gosh, wall to wall, maybe? No. Nice, good stuff, he was able to dash in. It's gonna do some decent damage, but the side wall. What's he gonna go for? Oh, the low, the mix up, what's he gonna do next? Oh, he caught him again, range drive. Two for two. We're seeing better spacing from uh, Speed Kicks here, but he just can't manage to close it out. Yeah, it's the clutch. You got to make sure you get the end hit. That's the one that matters. Gets the follow-up here. He's going to break the wall. There's nice. one. Oh, he dropped uh, the second hit. But he's stalking his prey right now. You know, Speed Kicks with a slight life advantage here. Starting to continue the offensive flow. Bad punish. A lot of lows. Oh, the power crush. Able to jab right through it. Doesn't activate right away. This time blocking it, now what? He's fighting for his life here. Oh yeah, he's gonna have to be careful. <gasps> he puts him in rage. Peacekeeper, the follow up here. One mistake. Oh no, he ducked it, great stuff. He's gonna be able to confirm, no, oh. he doesn't. Oh man, he's, he still gets the rage drive. Staying alive here, speed kicks, two rounds to one. But this is big, I mean, this is again, to continue on in the winner's bracket. You do not want to go to losers. 
Oh man, Speed Kicks playing out of his mind here. Gets the Power Crush. Oh, the relax. That was clutch with the wall. Good adaptation. But we're now, we're near the Blossoms. We're at the corner of the stage. We might have a balcony break. <gasps> the jabs. Slide, good block. Oh, no he doesn't combo. finish it. Speed Kicks is going to have to do something. He's going to have to be careful here, too. Ooh, the tracking move. They trade blows. They're both in rage. Nice block. block. Great punish. Speed Kicks taking it. Final, final round. Very good read. <laughs> He's a beast now. Oh, you yeah. See that face? Oh, nice. Gets the punish there, but only gets the down back four. He should have went for the wasp ending four attack. No, the duck and the punish. This is going to be big damage. Back to three. Relax. Here's the follow-up. Look at the pay. Oh, the low parry and Junding. He's gonna close it out this here. Could be that it. should be it. And Junding taking it. A tight match between these two, but man.